Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Te Ati Awa First Nations people and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Absolute pleasure to have you along today. So yeah, I've had yesterday off, so I'm back here today because by crikey, there's a lot happening. And uh, then I'll uh, have tomorrow off and be back again into my usual routine on Monday. So let's see what this week brings. Um, my mum's back on uh, another chemo cycle. It does go for uh, just o just over for a week and then hoping to take a home back over the mountains um uh next weekend so just playing it by ear at the moment as to what's happening so i'll be here when i can be here otherwise uh i'll be busy but i'll be here as often as possible because oh boy oh boy as all us readers said before the actual election <laughs> buckle up it is going to be a wild two months it's just the human parts of us got in the way we didn't realize the the way the wild would be Yes, I have seen Sterling's video. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely agree. I uh, hope the government does take him up on his offer. I believe he has helped law enforcement, uh, FBI, etc. in the past. So I'm sure he's in contact with them. Uh, interestingly enough, um, Trump came out in a speech. Now, I will say his name. His name has no power over me whatsoever. It's a bit like Harry Potter saying Voldemort. Trump came out yesterday at a speech at Mar-a-Lago yesterday and said a bill should be pay, passed uh, so that he can uh, uh, start his uh, term as president immediately and in fact be backdated to the uh, 5th of November. So yeah, I saw that uh, as th those that have been following me for a little while know that um, I said a couple a week or so ago that he would make a declaration that Biden should step aside and Trump step in uh, immediately. Well, yeah, there he did it yesterday. Okay, and as I'm splitting and shuffling the deck, I've got Biden and the voter, protecting the voter. Now, for those that are in doubt, this is a man who, um, oh, and speaking of which, yeah, didn't somebody have a little bit of a whip dog look at um, at the White House the other day? Uh, the fire was roaring, which I know they do like the fire when the weather gets cold, but it was quite quite symbolic feet to the fire, uh, but also, you know, there was a few implications there. And then RFK Senior, the bust being on the mantelpiece behind Biden. It's a bit like uh, Queen Elizabeth. Um, she, uh, with, uh, she had a huge selection of brooches. She would often suggest to her dresser what brooch she should wear for particular occasions. And uh, if you remember that um, uh, viewing of the, of the guard, uh, that uh, she undertook with Donald Trump, where Trump walked in front of her, much to the absolute aghast of of those that knew what the implications of that. The subtlety was she was actually wearing a brooch that she had been given by the Obamas. So do not underestimate the the silent symbolism that happens. So what I want to have a look at? Oh, in great news, Sri Lanka uh, had a landslide win for their far left government. Yay! In Georgia, the country not Georgia the state, Georgia the country that broke away from Russia during the collapse of the USSR. Uh, the government was trying to, um, the mm, suspect government where a lot of voters, a majority of voters don't believe it was legit. Uh, legit elections uh, tried to pass a pro-Russian bill uh, and the, the parliament was stormed and the bill was uh, put on hold or, or you know, put away back in the cupboard where it belonged. Uh, a lot of us saw when there was the um, uh, the planes parked on the tarmac that there was a data transfer. Uh, Sterling's picking up that that data transfer. Cash and I talked about it. I think a number of other readers said, "Yeah, there feels like there was some actual uh, in the air uh, uh, closed circuit um, data transfer." between the aircraft, not a physical, uh, I may have even said thumb drives or something, but there was sort of a data, there was a data transfer there. Um, few readers since, uh, including Sterling, have, have uh, been saying that it is a, it was a downloading of how Russia, etc., uh, rigged their election. Um, 
and uh, that uh, ties in with what's happening in Georgia as well. So what do I want to have a look at? Goodness me, where do I start? I'm going to have a look at, well, Elon, <laughs> Leon Muskrat. Um, a lot of my beautiful viewers pointed out the other day when I said, oh, there's a badger on that card. I don't re remember seeing the badger. It really struck out for me. Uh, they were told... When, it, when it's badger versus bear, it's usually one point to the badger. So, and the bear is the symbolism for Russia. So that was a really interesting uh, point to note. But um, uh, Leon Muskrat, he's meeting. I will call him that because I have. <laughs> why not? Uh, he was meeting today, apparently, with the Iranian ambassador in New York. There are photos that have emerged with uh, Leon Muskrat with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. I mean, so you've also got, she's so convoluted. So you've got Trump, Trump with Epstein. Uh, you've got um, Gates uh, with the underage kids. You've got Musk with Maxwell. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really just to connect the dots here. And uh, if you think he can't get any lower in who uh, he Trump says he's going to nominate to his cabinet positions. Casey Anthony the other day uh, for family, the director of child and family services. Now, allegedly, allegedly, uh, teenage mum, that's not in dispute, uh, but allegedly uh, her infant child when they were a toddler went missing uh wasn't found for several days found deceased uh and there was no definitive um in the investigation as to the um what actually happened so uh, yeah okay so a teenage mother whose toddler child went missing and turned up deceased uh, as the director of child and family uh, services. It's almost like he, he's going out of his way to find the worst person for a job. But anyhow, oh gosh, and yes, Biden. Biden, and then we've got up against this this energy, but holding the flame to it as well. Now, for those that are one thinking, oh, Biden won't do anything, he's not doing anything, do not underestimate what he's uh, undertaking behind the scenes. And then we've got Harris and this energy. Uh, Biden didn't have to stand for re for election in 2019. He did it for the sake of the country. He didn't have to stand aside for Harris earlier this year. He did it for the sake of the country. Biden is a um, oh, she's got some she's got some things to pull out of the bag there. Um, she's working. Uh, she's her, her process. I'm getting the feeling with Harris. Her her prosecutor um, energy is really coming out. But do not underestimate Biden's um, uh, determination to stand up for what's best of the country. He was never in it for the money. He wasn't in it for the ego or the prestige. He's in it for uh, the best of democracy and for the best of the United States. Um, so, so do not underestimate what is going on behind the scenes. Okay, but what I want to have a look at. Oh, what have we got? Oh, gosh, also, Mike Johnson. Sorry, eight minutes in this. Mike Johnson has now come out as well today and has advised against releasing the House Ethics Report on Matt Gates. Okay, because that's what happens. Matt Gates uh, stood down from the House uh, literally days before the ethics report in regards to child trafficking was due to come out. It meant that the ethics committee uh, then uh, can go no further, but they can release the report. I might actually have a look at that first up. Okay, so Johnson advises against releasing the health ethics report of Gates. Now, if there was nothing to nothing to hide, Thems that have nothing to hide, hide nothing. So show me what's in this health eth ethics report for Gates. Show me the house ethics report for Matt Gates. She's so ugly. Um, it's not like I'm a picture, but show me what's what. Show me the house ethics reports. What do we need to know? So okay. 
Leon Muskrat might be a different video. Show me the House Ethics Report for Matt Gates. What do we need to know? The fact that Mike Johnson has come out and he's, is trying to stifle it. You want that one and you want that one. Okay. Come on down. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh goodness me. Okay. Going to expose everything. It's really explosive and explosive. There's, oh boy, oh boy. Now, remembering that this is Trump's pick for Attorney General, uh, someone who has come out publicly and said they intend to dismantle the DOJ. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say it's it's gonna, it's a real eye-opener and it's explosive. And on the base, we've got the abuse of power, betrayal, the uh, the uh, attempted steal, uh, just awful, awful, awful energy on the base there. Yeah, challenged by judgment. It, 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 boy, a collective awakening and a big judgment moment if it's released. Okay, let's see see where this leads and see whether it actually gets released. Um, boy, there's stuff in here to hide is all I'm feeling. There is stuff in here that they are trying to hide. The Queen of Cups, there is something that has not yet been revealed that is highly emotional. Okay, in the past. Dems with the money make the rules, um, protected by daddy's money, uh, living a life of luxury, thinking one can get away with it all, sitting in their gilded cage. Yep, yep, money, money. The era, I'm just going to say the era of money protecting is over, is the feeling I'm getting. Um, yeah, and Gates has been protected by his money, but it's in the past. Crowning this reading, the past, the past, what happened in the past, what happened in the past with young children. And I'm not even going to put a gender on it. What happened in the past with young children. Oh, actually, I feel quite ill at the moment. Um, yeah, it's going to be explosive. It's going to contain explosive information. And there's the badger down there as well. Again, this is the card that had the badger in it. Is it a badger? I think so. Um, yeah, don't take on the badger. Um, yeah, but it's the information that's to be brought forward, explosive. There is a decision that needs to be made about the part taking the right, path of righteousness or stay, keeping it hidden down in the in the um, blackberry thicket. So a decision hasn't been made about whether to release it. This is externally, internally. Ooh, I think they might. They're thinking of offering it up. I don't know who was on the House Ethics Committee, but internally they are considering offering it up with the nine of wands, hopes and fears. The best of democracy, the best of the legal system, the healing, the hope. Um, could also be Matt Gates' star, but let's see how it goes. Harris or simply prosecution. Holy crumbs. The two major prosecutor cards together. Harris, prosecution. Having to, Gates having to defend himself. There are things that he would like to be kept hidden about his mercenary actions. Oh, ick, 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 ick. The circle of support and oligarchs are really nervous about this coming out, but I think it's going to. I really think it's going to. We've got the whistleblower. We've got up it being offered, and then we've got an, an ending and a new start. Wow. We've got this abuse of power, this betrayal. We've got a lot of information coming out really quickly. And the eight of cups, three cups spilt which is like the five of cups with the three cups spilt, but there's eight there. The emotional spilling that will enable 
that will make him walk away. He might even walk away from this appointment. Um, powerful information coming out about money that's going to be significantly changing. And then we have the Five of Cups, the loss. Money changing hands. Information coming out about, about money. We've then got justice. We've got the ending. And we've got secrets coming to the surface. Um, yeah, he really, really does not want this report to come out. Um, and I think it's going to. I think it's going to be, I don't know that the decision has been fully made. They may offer it not so much publicly, but to I'm getting the DOJ. I think because it's just too explosive to just release it publicly. Who's this report going to be released to? Who who are they going to put this report out to? It's it's really um explosive. I'm gonna say it's really explosive. I don't know. The fact that they sit on this information really annoys me beyond belief. So show me. Who are they going to offer this report to? Right. Who are they going to offer it to? The decision's not been made, but it's going to be offered to a legal. Really, the birth of something new, it is painful, the birth, but it is bringing an abundance with it in regards to feminine energy. The mercenary actions, or it can just be simply the the offering of the report, the report being brought forward about this this spilt cups walking away. Who are they going to offer it to? The voter is going to find out about it. There's oligarchs. The oligarchs are really, those that were involved on the money side of it are really, really anxious about the information coming out. This is my financial, ethical and moral betrayal, corruption, money changing hands, possibly overseas as well. Again, five of cups, lost, despair, heartbreak. Two cups still standing, but we've got strength, emotional, overwhelming, and then justice, justice for these young people that were exchanged, that were exchanged for money. The oligarchs are really not feeling very good about this because they are going to find themselves seen. The two of cups, agreements that were made. Then we have my it's my Biden, DOJ, FBI, and then we have the prosecutor again. Um, yeah, I think we're going to offer it up to the DOJ while the DOJ is still under Biden control. It's It feels, I mean, I started this out lightheartedly, but it feels really unpleasant energy there is I'm getting entertainment only allegedly allegedly uh, trafficking of uh, young children in from overseas uh, wealthy oh, I can't go on the energy's just, you have to have a, 
let it out, let it out. Um, it's it's what's in this report. Um, I'm going to say is actually quite ghastly, and it really infuriates me that they don't release this information until after the events. Um, I'm just going to say money will not protect this time. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Love to you all. Take care. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.